Cool. So uh, another thing that we often carry into venues when we're going into work, whether it's for a one-off or it's for a tour, um, is usually you have your Pelican and you have your backpack. And your backpack might contain things that might be more fragile or more sensitive that you don't want uh, maybe under a bus or in a trailer, um, like laptops and things like that that you don't really want to be smushed. Um, so we're going to start with Tom and uh, your backpack and what you bring in. Cool. So my backpack is uh, the e-bags, uh, I think it's called the Weekender. I got it originally because you can fold it flat and the compartments are TSA compliant, so you don't actually have to take out your laptop from your bag. Whoa. Um, I got that before I got a TSA pre-check, mm. so now I don't have to do that anyway. That's cool. But what I like about it is that all the compart there's a lot of compartments and they're all small, so instead of one big gelatinous terrible compartment for everything to just go wrong, mm -hmm. there's kind of a space for everything. And that's probably my biggest piece of advice for when you go on the road. Have one spot where you put that one thing every time. Mm -hmm. And like, don't deviate from that. If it's inconvenient to take off your bag and put that one thing back in there, do it. Because that's how you have things not get lost. Like, I have one pocket where if I'm traveling abroad and I have to have a passport or we're going to Canada or whatever, I have one spot that my passport always goes. And as soon as we're through security, as soon as soon as like we're done using it, I will stop in the middle of the hallway, put my backpack down, put my passport in that one spot so I always know where it is. Makes sense. That's the same for like my iLock, my USB key where I keep all my waves licenses, my laptop, my iPad. It's always in the same spot. So big life recommendation there, especially because what we do is travel. So, what do I got in this thing? Alright, uh, molded in-ear hearing protection. These are so much better than foamies. You can actually mix with these things. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, I had I got them done, so I have a pair of molded in-ear uh, in monitors and the same company um, that makes the monitors will also make plugs. Most companies who make in-ear monitors will also make hearing protection. And I have like a 15 dB pad effectively on mm -hmm. these and it lowers the frequency spectrum very, very evenly. Hearing protection, remember that it's not just about volume, it's about exposure time. So you can listen to something at 110 dB for three minutes, but if you listen to something for at 95 dB for 120 minutes, that's way, way worse for your hearing. So if you can have these in for a little while, mm -hmm. you know, and then pop them out to check something, that's a much better solution. So molded in-ear hearing protection. And then I've got like my glasses, chapstick, I got my uh, my iPhone uh, earbuds, so I can mm -hmm. make a call or whatever. Um, let's, let's see, what do I got in here? I have an iPad. Uh, I had a baby version of Smart that I ran off this. Um, if you're going to be using an X32 or other iPad compatible things, especially like, you know, if you have it, if it has to live on stage, then, you know, there, there are so many consoles now that you can control from these. Mm -hmm. They're pretty awesome. Uh, these are my headphones of choice that I keep in front of house. These are the Audio-Technica uh, ATH-M50X. Um, I had Sennheiser 280s for years and years and years. I just like the sound of these better. I think the bass is a little tighter. I think the high end is quite so harsh. They're really roadworthy. I just hang them on the side of the console. And I really only, at front of house, I only use headphones to check if something's gone really, really bad. Mm -hmm. I don't mix with these. They're just for problem solving. Um, but if like a video guy needs a mix or if I just need to like mm -hmm. do a quick edit on Pro Tools, these are my go-tos. So molded to me in ears. Branded Summation Audio. <laughs> See? Uh-huh. Uh, it's where I keep my dongle. 
And um, I went with, I mean, this, I mean, you, you, we could have a whole other post. You could have a whole other, like, mm-hmm. website devoted to whip in-ears or going which way. Um, I got all clear. They were kind of the, I was working with an artist that had a deal with them, so I got a deal with them. They're also, like, a fraction of the cost of some other Absolutely. brands out there. And I, I think they sound great. Uh, I'm super, super happy with them. These are my mains. I have a backup pair in my other Pelican. Um, yeah, I think they're fantastic. Molded in-ear monitors, which is a big, big, big step up from generics. Um, sure. You have to go, they put goo in your ears, and you have to sit like this for like five minutes so that it really <laughs> molds to your ears. And a, a, a good molded in-ear is just a different different world from a generic fit so i know it's i know it hurts and it's a lot of money but if, if you can uh, get with a with an artist who will help you out you just gotta have some in ears all right what else do i got in here um this is for blog ideas nice pretty much if it sounds good so like when you see something on the website they probably the idea started there um this is my PC that I've had for about a year. Uh, you'll find in Live Sound that a lot of the mm-hmm. a lot of the consoles run on a Windows platform, and that for that, a lot of the offline editors are Windows only. So I was really sick of having to boot my Mac into Windows. A lot of the just kind of utilitarian apps that Live Sound production uses are Windows only. And then my Apple laptop died. The integrated graphics card died. So I was in the place where I hadn't done a lot of work. I didn't have a lot of money and I really needed a new laptop. And this had plenty of horsepower. This this has the same amount of horsepower, like processing power and stuff as one of the highest end MacBook Pros, but it was between a third and half the cost. For sure. So I'm this is worth its own post, but I've jumped ship and I went to PC and I'm really happy about it. So what brand is that? This is a Razer. So it's it's um it's for gamers, like it's a gaming PC, and that's what they built. They that's what they've kind of like built it for. Mm-hmm. But uh, yeah, it's got it, like the latest generation i7. It's got 16 gigs of RAM. It's got um, this particular one. I was really happy with the I/O. So it it has Thunderbolt three. HDMI, regular USB, and this got that USB-C. It also has an Ethernet port, so I don't need an extra dongle. A lot of audio stuff is mm-hmm. Ethernet. So like all the wave stuff, all the short wireless connectivity, it's just, it's just right there. Great. Um, and it actually has two hard drive bays. It has the two and a half inch and the M.2. Mm. So it's really fast. I've got two terabytes of solid state storage in this. Mm. And like I said, like, substantially less than a comparable Mac. Sweet. So that's cool. I'm really happy about that. So when you're in a bunk, you're gonna need to charge your phone and you don't really know how many charging or uh, mm-hmm. points you're gonna have. So this is two spots. If this particular one's made by Anchor and it supplies enough power that I can charge my iPad off of. So I've got my phone and my watch. Mm-hmm. And that just lives in my bunk. There's also a little light, so it's a little night light in my bunk. Uh, what else do I got? Uh, I wear gloves all the time because uh, all the cases will have a metal, like, kind of surround around them. And they're in the back of a bus or on a trailer or in a semi, and they get banged up. And metal splinters, oh, I hate metal splinters. So, so before I move anything and i'm and i'm just clumsy i'm just super super clumsy <laughs> um and so i wear gloves all the time and i've gone through a whole bunch of different ones and i tear them up so these are the ones that fit me the best and they're they have leather on them, so they're going to hold up pretty well so get yourself some gloves i really like it better to go through gloves than it is to go through your hands yeah exactly i've got more sharpies i've got uh e-tape because the world is held together with e-tape it's true um and then um i've got my pro tools i lock and i've got uh other just usb keys i like to keep at least one pc formatted 
uh, key and one Mac formatted key, okay. just so that uh, USB dongle, just so that you can hand files off, you can kind of get stuff from everywhere. Uh, and then I have like, I have a pocket of just kind of like, you know. Totally. Tums, and I've got some Airborne, I've got some, you know, Advil, and mm -hmm. uh, Excedrin migraine. Uh, apple cider vinegar? Uh, yeah, that's my backpack. I bring my keys with me, even if I get dropped off at the bu at bus call, I bring my keys with me, just, you know, mm -hmm. something happens, I need to get home, I just Uber. So, uh, and then write your name on stuff. Yeah. Always. Okay. So, uh, yeah, that's mine pretty straightforward, but just basically my electronics. And so the, so the reason why things are in the backpack rather than the Pelican, the Pelican goes in the bay, um, which is not accessible as you're rolling down the road. Uh -huh. So obviously my chargers for my iPhone, uh, my laptop, just in case I need to get to something, all the stuff that I want to, you know, I want to use while I'm going to sleep or on the bus hanging out. Mm -hmm. Um, is up in my bunk with me. So this this goes in the back lounge where some, somewhere safe. And then the Pelican, stuff that I need for the gig, but stuff that I don't need, like kind of as I'm going to sleep in my bunk, can go in the bay. Right. Totally. That's my backpack. Sweet. Thank you. All right. My backpack is from one of the best websites. Monoprice.com. I'm in the... Uh, the, the, the very rapid growth period of my career where things are like moving, That's with, healthy. That's which healthy. is, which is awesome. And I'm very, very thankful for that. Um, and, uh, this is a, a great backpack that, um, it's not super expensive. I got it on mono price and it might've taken a couple weeks to get here, you know, cause it's, it's coming all, all the way over, but, um, uh, it's, it's been great. Um, so I, uh, same as Tom, I keep some things in here that um, I might need on the bus while we're moving, or I don't want a stagehand to grab and throw into a bus, mm -hmm. um, or drop because it's on top of something else that is being rolled, right? Or whatever. Right. Um, so I mean, the gig is computers now, so you just have to mm -hmm. be conscious of that. Totally. I have this little little notebook that uh, my girlfriend Leah got me, so I can write things down or same sort of thing. Uh, if I have ideas or uh, crazy signal flow things that make sense in my brain, one hundred percent have done that. So I keep that in there, so I, I have something to write with. Um, and then um, I also have been up until recently, I've been doing a lot of X thirty two M thirty two tablet mixing. And stuff like that um, so I have a few of these uh, mobile batteries because when your show is being ran off of an iPad um, and you already have the variable of the iPad just dropping connectivity right. um, it's nice to not have the variable of the iPad dying um, so when I'm walking around and mixing predominantly off of an iPad um, I keep one of these in my back pocket with a cable cool. so that I can have like a mobile power yep. source uh, headlamp so if you need to still be working on something and the lights are constantly going off and on and whatever, huh? uh, it's good to have. Um, I have a long iPad charger um, so that I can. Uh, oh, so you put a rat tail on the on the iPad charger. That's mm -hmm. cool. Yep. Um, so that I can have this plugged into maybe into the back of the console, like in, into the doghouse, mm -hmm. um, and then run, especially on the X32. A lot of the use of the console is a lot easier on the iPad, like labeling and other yes, things like that. 100%. Um, so I have that, and then I also have this little guy from Amazon, which is a little iPad stand, um, so that you can... So I have that as well. Um, MacBook charger. Everything's labeled with tape so that I know it's mine. Mm -hmm. um, I have an umbrella. So you never know. I have a little uh, Ethernet to USB dongle because my laptop to doesn't USB. have that. USB, okay. Um, and then I have, this is in here from some point I needed this. Uh, it's just eighth inch to eighth inch. On this bag, I also have a bunch of uh, Sharpies and another pen. 
Um, I have a little hidden compartment for my knife. Um, I never use this. I have it if I like was spending a lot of time just cutting tie line or something. Right. right. Let's let's take let's take a second. Okay. So so I've I talked about kni knives on the blog. You said you had the easy cutter that was in your Pelican. Mm -hmm. You have your multi tool. So you've got this uh, the big boy. Mm -hmm. uh, that's a knife. Mm -hmm. The saw. Yeah. Goodness gracious. Okay, that's a big boy. So <laughs> what's what is your what do you have a daily multi tool or something that you kind of carry on you all the time? All the time. What is it? It is a uh, a Leatherman. Uh, I believe it's a Wingman. Mm. And this I have all the time. It's got a little knife on it with a little serrated, so I can use that to cut rope and stuff too. Um, it's got pliers that I use constantly, um, and it's got Phillips and flathead on it. Um, just that quick, that quick fix. Uh huh. I use this all the time. Um, it's got a bottle opener. It's got a little kind of like, kind of clever cutter type hmm. thing uh, for pulling. Another flathead, and then a uh, little file. All right, oh. real, real quick. I also uh, <laughs> I carry knife. This is actually smaller than the than the knife I used to have. Um, this is a bench made, so I actually got a nice one because I carry with it all the time. I'm always amazed how often I use. I use this at least once every day. Mm -hmm. And I will grant you that yours is definitely more practical, the, the Leatherman. Mm. I just haven't gotten one yet, but I just have a little knife. Doesn't have to be fancy, doesn't have to be expensive, but just right. cutting tape, cutting tie line, cutting whatever. I just find that you need one all the time. Yeah. It's incredibly helpful. Mm -hmm. I have mm -hmm. a uh, a nicer battery that I use for charging. That's basically the one that I've got. Yeah. Uh, for charging iPad. And yep. This one is a lot bigger than that other one. That one's also from Monoprice. This is a nice one. Uh, I can charge my phone on this like four or five times, which is great. Yep. Um, so there's that. And that's that anchor one. Yeah, that's what I've yeah, got. It's got a little sticker on it, so I know it's mine. Um, important for that is the cable that charges the battery. So there's that, and then as somebody who wears glasses and is constantly annoyed when my glasses are dirty, I have a little microfiber cloth. I have two little mini pellet, well this one's a pelican, and this I got at Fast Pro. Uh, I got a label on there, this is where I keep a bunch of USB keys. Mm -hmm. um, they're all labeled, so I know that they're mine, whatever. Um, this is like my main one. That's, that's where a bunch of my USB keys are. So that they're, like you said, they're always in the same spot and they're protected. Yep, and you stuff. always know where they are and they always go back to the same spot. 100%. Yeah. Um, and then uh, this is my in-ears case. Um, Tom is talking about how important it is to have molded ears. And I am transitioning into the time where I will be getting those. Um, but currently, I am still on generics. I have the Sure. Hey, they're, uh, dude, they're expensive. They're expensive, no doubt. Totally. But the Sure ones are the best generics. So in this, I have uh, my generics, and then this is labeled as well with company, what it is, and it has my phone number on it, so that I don't lose it. Um, what else is in here? Clip yeah. Bars. Uh, snacks! We're big boys! Snacks. Gotta get, gotta keep fueled! That's right. Uh, and then in the next compartment, I have uh, my laminate for the tour. I have a nice flashlight that was a gift. Ooh. Uh, really nice flashlight. That was a good one. Um, and it has two different levels, so that's kind of like the the show is going on and I need to I see something. Don't want to be disruptive. But I don't want anybody to see it, right? And then it has another one which is a lot brighter. Right. So that's helpful. Um, I have, same thing as Tom, I have a uh, non-contact voltage tester um, so that if you have a musician that is telling you that the microphone is shocking them or they're holding their guitar and they go to sing and they're feeling a zap or something, you can go up to a microphone or to a guitar amp and hold this near it and it'll beep if there's voltage on it because there's not supposed to be voltage on right, it. Right, right. Um, so if you're also really sketched out by the venue you, um, you're in, uh, before you even have your musicians tell you that, you can go up and touch all the microphones and just mm -hmm. make sure that there's nothing going on. Absolutely. It's a really good way to... Uh, Avoid death. Yeah. Save lives. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> more 
Oh, there's a set list. <laughs> yeah, they hand me one of these, and it's, it's helpful because sure. um, you can write notes. Things I can write notes on it, the especially when you're is... new to the gig. I mean, have a set list, write write notes, and like you know, it doesn't. It can be as specific to you as it needs to be, right. or just like whatever it takes for you to get through the gig. The other thing is that every night I confirm that the snapshots are in the right order to this set list. Yes. Um, because if I'm just hitting next constantly, and it happens to be that they decided on the bus that day that they're going to skip this song. And then I go into that song, and I have mutes in my snapshot, mm -hmm. and the guitar doesn't open up when he goes to play it. It's bad. Right. Bad look. Um, it's also good if something goes wrong, or something doesn't go as well as you wanted it to, and while you're mixing, you want to write a note to yourself. Um, this was like left-handed or something, because I was mixing. Uh, it says, guest to all. Ah, I know what that is. Because Everybody needs to hear the guest part. Right, because uh, that was called on stage while, uh, like, as an audible and not rehearsed. So I very quickly tried to get the guest to uh, everybody. everybody, and I did my best. It's <laughs> um, all you can hope for. That's all I can do. Um, these are, I have a pair of Bluetooth headphones that are incredible for um, flying. These are the Sony uh, headphones. The noise cancellation on these is really awesome and they're really comforting um uh wh 1000 x m3 the sony and then i also have those really old backup 215s in my bag see in the green they're like teal now isn't that weird this it's not so much weird as gross but i'll let you run with that so these are my first in-ears uh Aww. that i got when i started like i was playing you know drumming and stuff and i knew that all the cool kids had in-ears so I got in ears, and then the band I was with, we started playing with uh, ears exclusively. So that was that was really helpful. Um, I have this little a little secret compartment back here mm -hmm. that where when I'm wearing my bag, uh, this can't be like pickpocketed because it's up against my my lower back. That's where my switch lives. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Um, and there is oh yeah look at that. I didn't know if there's anything in it. I have uh, toe warmers and hand warmers <laughs> because I have done. Uh, Wedding gigs with a, a really Ooh, awesome wedding band. Yeah, where you those show are up, long. we show up, and you're wearing a suit, so it's not super warm. Uh, and also, they book their wedding outside um, because it technically is fine; it's not raining, but it might be 45, 50 degrees, and you're standing still. Uh, yeah, and, and you're out there cold. long enough. Right. So, so I started carrying those after not having them, and right. being very cold. Right. Um, so yeah, I think that just about does it for my bag, uh, and that's that's what I carry in my bag as well. Sweet, great. Do you want to? All right. Thanks for tuning in for this. This is what we carry into a gig on a daily basis. This, these are the things that we use for every show that we just have with us for an emergency. With what we have with us for our daily show. Uh, this is what we're touring with. This is. All, almost all available on Amazon. Totally. Nothing fancy. And uh, if you have questions, please post in the comments below uh, or reach out to one of us. And this is also all always evolving. This is changing. Like, totally. I saw some stuff from his pack that I'm probably going to go on and get for mine. And I'm sure yours is probably going to slim down <laughs> over time. I might start to carry a little that's, less. That's fair. Yeah. That's fair. Totally. That's fair. Um, so yeah, this is all likely to change, but this is just what's working for us right now. Absolutely. So hope you liked it. Hope you can find something that works for you and hope this helped you a little bit. Sweet. Thanks.